So in version 24.1, for the Pixels to Points tool, we added a new wizard option. This is to help guide users to specific settings based on what output they would like to create. Pixels to Points, of course, takes images with latitude and longitude information and stitches them together to create a point cloud, an ortho image, or a mesh, depending on what type of output you're looking for. And we've kind of made it easier with this introduction of the new wizard. Now, this wizard will automatically launch whenever you click the Pixels to Points tool. But of course, there is an option down here to skip the wizard if you like to be a little bit more hands-on with your settings, and you can disable it entirely in the configuration dialog. But this first page of the wizard is where you import your, your images and you tell Global Mapper where on your machine you would like it to be saved. To load the images, click on this Load Images button, and it gives you a few different options of where you'd like to pull the images from. If you have them already loaded in Global Mapper, you can load those picture points, but I'm going to grab them from my computer here. I'm just going to grab a couple of them just for this example. Here, for this projection, this is where you tell Global Mapper what projection the images are in. This will be populated by default and you probably don't have to mess with it at all. Now this project name is what you would like the project to be called when it is saved and then project folder. You just select a folder on your computer where it will be stored and where all of that generated data will be saved too. With all that said, you can go ahead and click next and here's where you choose which output you would like to create. There are a few different options here from this drop-down menu. You, of course, can create an ortho image, the 3D point cloud, the 3D model, or there are two options down here to create a quick ortho image or a quick 3D model. The purpose of these two on the bottom is to create a product that processes a bit more quickly and to sacrifice a little bit of accuracy or resolution. This is if you want a lower resolution output, you're just kind of sketching it out, you're going to print it out to something that doesn't require high resolution or you just want to see the accuracy of your data. Those two options are good for that. So clicking on the other options, you can see that it, an ortho image generates a high quality seamless image and it also gives you a little bit of information on the data collected collection methods that would be best for this particular type of output. So the image orientation, oblique images, collecting things from the side will help fill in any gaps that later images um, omit, and then the different collection types. So just to give you a little bit of information if you're curious on what should be collected for these particular outputs. But with an option selected, you go ahead and click Next, and this brings you to the good old Pixels to Points window. Here, if you don't want to make any changes, you can just hit Run. That's kind of what the wizard is designed for, where you don't have to make any edits at all. But if you would like to, you can add some edits here just as you would previously. For example, this is where the control points would be added. We assume that a user who has control points and wants to use them is probably going to want to have a little bit more hands-on control here, so we've just left that in the main dialog. You, of course, can decide to, if you have an ortho image and you also want to make a point cloud, you can enable that option here as well, along with image reduction or clustering or any of the other options that are run. That's all I have for today. Email us if you have any questions.